Hey guys, welcome to a Tall Tale Guide on how to do the quest for Guybrush in the Monkey Island Tall Tales. Of course, to start the Tall Tale, you will need to navigate to this little hut on any of the outposts in the game and vote on the second book that you see here, the quest for Guybrush. Vote for the quest, wait for them to talk, and then take your ship and sail it through the portal. As usual, I'll be showing you how to get every single commendation and complete this Tall Tale to 100%. As you did with Tall Tale number one, we're first going to go ahead and park your ship here by the dock and we're going to go to Scum's Bar. Inside the bar, you're going to go all the way to the back and you're going to speak with the chef and this will actually get you fired from your chef job so that you can get a commendation. So once you get fired, you'll then run into the town and head to the Mojo Jojo room. Now, as you head into the town, you'll see this guy over here is now selling a treasure map for a thousand pieces of eight. Don't worry, you don't have to collect coins on this one. Thank God. But you will need to talk to him and use his very final option, what you can trade for that map. You have to make sure you talk to him and do that dialogue. But head into the Mojo Jojo room right over here and go ahead and speak to Karina. After you've spoken with her, you'll go back to the scum bar and you'll speak with the pirate leaders on the table over here. And this will get the, the story a little bit on its way. They'll explain a bit more. Once you get your quest book updated, you can go ahead and head back to Karina. And of course, all you have to do is go ahead and speak with her, tell her you have permission from the pirate leaders and let her talk. Okay, so the very first thing we'll need to do is head to the general store. So outside over here to the general store where it says shop, we're going to go inside here and speak to the owner. Speak to the storekeeper and tell him you're low on funds and ask him if he offers credit. He will say no, but he will give you a credit note that you need to get signed by the mayor of the town or the governor, which means we're heading over to the mansion. So go ahead and make your way to the mansion. I'm sure you should recognize all of this from part one of the Toll Tale. So we're going to run right up here and go to Guybrush right over here while he's sleeping. You'll see we'll be able to pickpocket him directly and take a key. Now that we've got this key, you're going to turn to the right and you'll see there's this footlocker at the bottom here and you're going to use this to open that. Now, the reason we're opening that is to get this ink over here. And we're going to put this on this little parchment where you can see place captain's ink well. But we also need something to write with. The thing that you're going to write with is actually down the stairs behind you. It's on this table over here, a writing quill. You're going to pick it up and you're going to go ahead and take it to this, this place over here. And then you're going to open up your quest items. You're going to take the page out in your hand here and you're going to place the blank credit note on the table. And you're going to forge Guybrush's signature because this is this is completely legal, by the way. And then also pick it up. Don't forget to pick it up. Now, before you leave the mansion, you will need to go ahead and read the books over here because one of them will have a certain thing, a certain map of adventure that you need to give to that guy to buy the treasure map. I believe it's this book over here, The Time I Blew Up LeChuck. You're going to examine it, tug it on the floor, and then you'll see there is a Guybrush assigned C chart that you can pick up. That's what we need. Now we're going to head back to the general store. So make your way back into the town, head to the shop. Once you get back to the storekeeper, you're going to go ahead and open up and grab your credit note like this. And then you're going to give it to him like that. And now you're going to buy two items. You're first going to buy the mighty pirate sword over here. So we're going to buy that. And if you go up the stairs, we're also going to go buy the rubber chicken, which is right over here, which we're going to be using for the kind of like the zip line. So go ahead and buy that as well. Before you leave, you should know you need to equip the sword as an actual sword using the armory. So go to the sword section over here, go and find the sword that has this background, this one over here, the mighty pirate sword, and swap it out into your inventory just like that because you're going to need to have it equipped. Then we're going to leave the store and we're going to go to the treasure map guy. At the treasure map guy, you're going to go ahead and give him that special like map you found, this one over here. So go ahead and give that to him. And now he's going to give you the treasure map, which you can just go ahead and pick up from the floor, which is perfect. It's going to update your quest book too. Now that you have all those things, you can go ahead and go speak with Karina and she will make a special potion to remove the fog. And this will allow you to explore all the new areas for this tall tale. Make sure you pick up the potion from her hands over here and you're going to take this all the way to the very top of the lookout. So if I go out this building over here, the lookout is at the top of that mountain over there where you can see there is smoke. So make your way all the way up there. If you forgot how to get there, it's going to be through Scum Bar, through the harbor and along this pathway as it follows up there. Once you get to the top of the lookout, all you're going to do is pour this potion onto the fire, just like this. And this will change the flames into green and you'll just have to wait until the fog all disappears. And you'll see now you can see the entire map. And then you're going to proceed down the mountain until you see this section over here. You'll see there is a zip line on the right. And we're going to take this one and we're going to go all the way down just like this. From here, you're going to turn around and you're going to go to the bridge and you're going to interact with this lever so that you can lower the bridge over there. Also, there's a troll over here. Here, you're going to run across the bridge and you'll see on the left hand side, there is a barrel over there. This is your first memoir spot that you need to sit on like this. There are 10 of these included. You can check out the timestamps to find all of them. 
if you look along the pathway as well, there is a wagon that is broken down nearby that has your first journal that you need to read. So go ahead and read this as well for one out of five journals in this tall tale. Now looking at the journal and further up the pathway, we're going to go all the way this way. And what we're looking for is on the left, you'll see all this like scaffolding. We're going to climb about halfway to find journal number two. So go up the first section over here, go up the first ladder like this, go up the second ladder. And right over here on this barrel, you'll see is the second journal that you need to read. So just go ahead and read that. You'll also see right behind you is the circus, and that's the first place we're heading. So go ahead and jump down the scaffolding, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to run to the circus over here. Now, before you go into the circus right over here, you're actually going to follow the path out, and you'll see there is a rock over here with an inkwell on it, and you'll be able to sit on this rock as your memoir spot that you will need to collect, just like that. And then you can go ahead and proceed to the circus. When you walk inside the circus, you're going to turn left and you're going to see the cannon over there, but there's also a barrel behind it with a little inkwell, and you're going to go ahead and take a seat over here as your next memoir spot. And then from here, you're going to interact with the cannon. You're going to want to aim your cannon about this high, like that, and you're going to climb in the front, just like this, and you're going to shoot yourself to test if you can go all the way through into the water. If it works, that's perfect. Don't move it off to that. Now all you're going to do is speak to the two brothers. You'll have to speak to Bill on the right over here to ask him how to get a costume. And you'll speak to Alfredo on the left, asking him what you have to do. And then if you look over to the left over there, in this section here, you'll find some clothes that you can pick up, some circus costume. And then turn around, go back to the, the two brothers, and you'll see there is a clothing chest right next to them. And go ahead, click costumes, and you're going to go ahead and put on the circus performer costume like this. And now you're ready to take on the trial. So right next to the brothers over here, there is a bell by the water, and this is where it starts. You're going to ring this bell, you're going to climb this ladder over here, you're going to parkour across those, like, ladder things at the top there, you're going to jump onto this platform, there's a bell over there, you're going to ring it, then you're going to jump to this platform, then to that platform, ring that bell over there, jump to that platform, take this zip line down over here, get into the front of the cannon, shoot yourself through the flaming hoops of fire into that water pit, and if you do that within 26 seconds, and you'll see on the scoreboard, you'll see I got 22.35 seconds. Let me know in the comments down below, what was your time, your best time that you guys could get? Before you leave, you will need to claim your prize from them. All right, so now we're going to proceed to the area of the map where the ships were. So head to the big mountain outside the circus, and you're going to head left down the road and across the bridge until you get to the ships. You can't really miss it. As you run up to the area here, you will see there is a barrel right in the middle. This is a memoir spot that you will need to sit on just like this, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, you look to your right, there is a rowboat over here, one with a grog machine on it, and a barrel in front of it that has a journal. This journal you will need to read as one of the journals for the commendations. Because you have money, you can interact with this grog machine right over here and insert a piece of eight and get a grog classic drink out here, just like this. And you can go ahead and drink it so that you can get another commendation. Just keep in mind, this is going to make your character drunk, but you will have to drink it until you get the achievement. I've already got it, so I don't want to do that again. I'm already dizzy. Man, just after one sip, one sip was enough for this. What do they put in that? And now that you've done that, you can go ahead and speak to Stan. So after you've interacted with Stan, he's introduced himself, you will have to interact with the four ships. That includes the rowboat and the three main ships. So go over to this ship over here and you will ask Stan about the vessel. You will have to let him explain everything about the ship in particular. The next ship is this one over here. You just go to the sign over here and ask him about this vessel over there and let him talk and explain this one. Once you're done with that one, you'll head over to the next for sale sign right over here and I'll stand about this vessel right over here. And then the final ship, this one over here, you're going to interact with this for sale sign, and I'll stand about this vessel. Once you've interacted with all four ships, you can go ahead and speak to him in front of his door again, and ask him about his cheapest ships right at the bottom, and then ask him who purchased the headless monkey. And now we're going to head to the person in question. So look ahead where all the ships are facing, and we're going to go up this hill this way. You'll see on the left there is a zip line going across to that island. That's the one we're going to take. So go ahead, run up to it, and take the zip line across just like this. And then you're going to head up this pathway just like this. Just follow me. Just keep following this pathway right over here. It does go for a little bit. You will see there is an arrow in the distance over there, a <laughs> bright red arrow that you cannot miss. We're going there. Now, before you go ahead and use this zip line to hook island, we're actually going to go sit on this rock over here as part of our memoir sites. There we go. And now you can go ahead and take the zip line and go across here to hook island. Once you're here, you're going to go straight up to the house and you're going to go open up the door. As you enter the house on the right, there is a barrel over here next to this door. You'll be sitting on here for your next memoir spot. Once you've done that, you're going to go speak to uh, Beat Hook and ask him about the headless monkey right at the bottom. Now he's going to want you to fix up the cage, this one over here, and you're going to pull out all these cutlasses, as you can see, on the left, on the cage, and on the right. Remove all of these. 
Just go ahead and pull them out one by one. You will need wood to repair these. If you have wood, great. If you don't, you can go outside the house to the lift and you'll see lift again. There is a little like wood chopping section where you can pick up some planks to do the repairs. So go ahead and repair up those spots. In order to get a piece of wood for the lever, we're gonna have to exit the house and go to the right. You'll see in this forest over here, right up to where that like fiery section is, you'll, we will be able to take off a like a stick off of this tree like this right over here. Just hold F to break it off. And of course, all you have to do is go take this to the lever in the house. So go ahead and attach this to the lever just like that, nice and easy. Now we'll be able to open up containers in his house looking for banana grease. So open up the different containers and look for it. It will always be a random one of four containers within the house. For me, it was at the foot locker at the base of his bed. And then go ahead and give him the concentrated banana grease. In order to find the shanty, you will have to go to his bed and look underneath his pillow. So right over here, move the pillow like this, grab the scrap of music, and this will give you a new song that you can play called Summon the Beast. So go ahead and whip out an instrument, any of your choice, like a banjo, hold right click, press F to go more, more, until you find the song called Summon the Beast and have it loaded. Now we're gonna go right and we're gonna go through the forest outside the house along this pathway. So just go along with me over here, through the forest, You'll see there's this pathway over here where you can see the ocean. We're gonna go right up here, just like this. Follow along here, you can't get lost, honestly. It's super easy. Once you get around this corner, you'll see there is a nice shadow of a great beast and you're just gonna play the song. Just play the song until the beast comes towards you. All right, so now you're gonna pick up the beast and you're gonna hold left click to pet the beast so that you can get the commendation for tickle the beast. Do it as long as it takes until that commendation shows up because the first time I did it, it didn't show up immediately. So I had to pet it for like a few more seconds. And then go back to this guy's house. He really loves the parrot, by the way. This is his favorite thing. And also, by the way, we're gonna have to call PETA about what I'm gonna do next because you have to put it in the cage and press that thing. That is not animal abuse at all, me took. Not at all. Now he's gonna give you the bill of sale for the ship and you can go ahead and return to Stan. Make sure it says quest book updated though, before you leave. And we're gonna take the zip line and we're gonna go back all the way to where the ships are in the harbor, that side. And now we're gonna go ahead and speak to Stan now that we have that deed of sale. Tell him you have the headless monkey's bill of sale. He will then go ahead and proceed to these cannons, the wheels and the anchor. And he's gonna talk about all of these different things and you'll just have to let him talk about each one. It's gonna take some time. Eventually he'll walk all the way over up to this cupboard and you'll go ahead and speak to him and ask him if it's big enough to play hide and seek. And I guess you guys can figure out where this is going. Yep, this is this is <laughs> this is going where you think it's going. And then all you have to do is look at the key and lock him in. Nice. Once he's in the cupboard, all you have to do is actually just go to the side over here where it says push captain's wardrobe and go ahead and push it and shove it just like this. There we go. This is a commendation. You need to do this. This is not murder. This is OK. This is fine. Think about what we did to that parrot. This is fine. I guess that, that solves that. Now you just turn around. You're gonna go over here behind the grog machine. You'll see the key is hanging on the wall. Steal the key. Go ahead and open up the door. Inside the room on the left on the table, you'll be able to pick up Stan's sales ledger and you're gonna have to page through it until you see a special note right at the end over here at the bottom right. It says left three, right four, left three. You will have to memorize this. This is different for everybody's game. And you're gonna turn around and you're gonna see the safe over here. So it was left three, so it's one, two, three, and then right four, one, two, three, four, and then left three, one, two, three. And there we go, it opens up. You can go ahead and grab the idol of many hands. Once you have this, wait for the portal to appear and give this to Karina through the portal like that. And there we go. All right, so now we're gonna do the trial of the sword. So look where all the ships are facing down that way over there. Remember that house we ran past earlier? We're actually gonna go and knock on the door of that house. As you get to the house over here, we're gonna stop, we're gonna look to the right. You'll see there's an inkwell and a rock that we can sit on that is another memoir that you need to collect for the commendation. So just go ahead and sit on it. And then we can go ahead and we can go knock on this door right over here. Go ahead and speak to Captain Smirk to start your sword training. And because we have the money from the circus act, we will be able to get our training done but you will have to present your sword, your mighty pirate sword that you have equipped. If you don't have equipped, equip it here and present it by pressing F while holding it out. Inside his house, you're gonna look at the back right over here of this cage and you're gonna sit on this for the next memoir location. And then speak with Captain Smirk to begin your training. All right, so now you're gonna get a update to your quest book. So you're gonna have to open it up and you'll see there will be a map that looks exactly like this. Now the red swords that you see are the locations we're gonna have to go 
in order to battle other swords people so that you can learn all of the insults and all of the retorts. Once you've learned all of them, which is going to give you the commendation for Swordmaster, I think, you will then be told to challenge the Swordmaster and lead to the location where to do that. But first, you have to learn all the insults. So outside Captain Smirk's house, there is a zip line. Remember when we went to Hook Island, we took the zip line over here and we're going to go across to the section. So the ships are there. We're landing over here. This is actually where the first Red Swords location is. So if I go ahead and I whip out my map, you'll see it's the first one there above the ships on the right hand side. And once you get here, you'll see the lantern will go green and Marae Skull will appear in a bush like this. And this will happen in every single location that you travel to as you find them. And all you have to do is talk to Marae and select the final option for fighting. This will spawn a pirate to fight you. And then you'll go ahead and fight the pirate until they start speaking so that you can go ahead and use your insults. So he said an insult, I'm here to take your life. That is an insult, right? So I got retort. I actually don't have the retort for that insult. So I can answer with anything. It doesn't matter. He will then kind of uh, just, you know, kick my ass a little bit. But it's fine. I learned a new insult. That is what you got to do. You got to learn 10 insults and then 10 retorts. So pick a random option. It does not matter. You will take some damage and then you will continue fighting. You see, now he used my sword play will amaze you. We do know the retort for this. If you get this wrong, however, you're wasting a lot of your time because you want to try stay alive as long as possible. And the reason I'm going to help you with this is, or the way I'm going to help you with this is going to show you all the answers on screen right now. So you can see all of the insults on the left hand side and all of the retorts that are correct on the right hand side. So if somebody uses an insult like the sword play will amaze you, you got to be like, yeah, I'm amazed you've lost it this long. If you don't have the right retorts, you have to pick another one because that's a new insult that you learned. And when you're fighting the person and you have to use an insult, you need to use insults that you don't have the retorts for because they will teach you, if that makes sense. It is a bit of trial and error, but it will take some time. So now he's going to say, if I have something to say, now I'm going to use an insult towards him. Now, we know when he said, I'm here to take your life, we actually don't know what the correct retort is for that right so i'm going to be i'm here to take your life and this is shown in yellow so that it helps you along as well and you'll see he says it's at about time you got one that is the correct retort to say when somebody says i'm here to take your life as you can see with the list on screen so you're going to lose this fight and he is going to disappear now moray will disappear and you will not be able to redo this fight so you should know that that's a thing and now you're going to proceed along the pathway. So essentially just along this road, following the road from here, as you can see on my map, you're just going to follow this pathway, finding all of them and learning all of the insults as you can. And once you get to the end and you learn all 20 retorts and insults, which you can track if you hit tab, go to your pirate log, reputation, go into tall tales, and then the quest for Guybrush. If you hover over the Swordmaster commendation right over here, you'll see I've learned 20 out of 20 before. You have to do this in order to progress. And in case you're wondering, if you don't get it in time after defeating all of these, you can begin at the beginning again. So if you do all of the other ones on the map, you will be able to come exactly to this one again and learn them if you missed them. That's what we had to do the first time around because I took way too long to understand the mechanics behind this insult fighting. Once you know you've done enough insults and retorts, Murray will tell you about you being ready to face the sword master. You will see in your quest book, you will have this page over here, and I'm going to tell you exactly where to find this location to find where to fight the sword monster. Now head to the part of the map where you had these ladders and stuff over here, where the circus is literally in front of you that way over here. We're going to be on this road and we're going to be heading this direction in case you didn't know is north. So follow with me right this way. You will see there will be a little bit of a painting hut on the left over here. So from this painting place over here, we're going to look to the right and you'll see there's an entrance to the forest. Now, this is also where the first treasure quest starts as well. But first, we're going to do the sword master fight. So go ahead and follow along with me here. We're going to walk here. You're going to take your first right that you see just like this. First right, you will see there's a log that covers a little bit of a ravine. We're going to go across it and we're going to go like this. And immediately we're going to turn to the left. You'll see there's a sneaky little left path down there. Not those two over there. It's this left one over here. So follow along right here. Go along with me just like this. Keep following. This should lead you to a campsite like this if you did it correctly. Keep following along the pathway to the left. Go around the corner and around here still. Keep following. Keep going along this pathway. There'll be another log that we go across just like that. And we're going to keep going through the bush just like this. You'll see a bunch of yellow flowers. And in this section, there is a ghost that's going left, but we're going to go to the right. 
And on this side, you will see there is a sign. This is what we're looking out for. And you'll see there is a broken down bridge, right? So behind the sign is actually a switch. So go ahead and activate the switch to raise the bridge. You'll also see there is a journal next to this tree on the rocks right over here that you can go ahead and read as well. Now we're going to go across the bridge. As you follow this pathway, you'll see there's a little bridge and you'll see Ribsy is your opponent that you will be challenging and fighting in a sword insulting duel. You will notice that he will use insults that you have not seen before. Just for you guys, here is a picture on the screen right now of comebacks that you can use in order to win this fight. After winning three insult rounds and fighting him, you should get the victory and he will just explode and so will the other enemies. They'll just kind of disappear. And now you'll be able to take Carla's medallion, you'll pick it up, and a portal will appear soon. Go ahead and give Karina the medallion, just like that through the portal. Now looking back at Carla, if you turn around and you see the bridge that you came across here, we're going to go up and to that log bench over there. So go across the bridge, turn left, and you're going to jump up this side here just to get here. And you're going to sit on the bench to get a memoir spot, which is going to count for your commendation, just like that. Now, if you go ahead and you open up your quest book, you will see there is the Do the Monkey treasure quest that we can do now, all right? This is going to give you several treasure maps along the way to find a final final piece for the trial of the quest or, you know, the treasure. Right now, we're at the Sword Monster's Tent over here, but we're going to actually just turn around and we're going to go back the way we came. It's going to be in the same forest behind us, right behind the log bridge. So just follow across here. Remember where we saw that ghost that was through these trees area over here? We're just going to go through this little area here on the right. And you'll see he's digging over there. That's actually where we're going to dig up the treasure that we need. The first clue, the first page is to start like the next treasure map. Go ahead and open up the chest and take the pages out. You don't need the chest, you just need the pages. This will give you this page in your quest book, which you will need to find and follow. I'm going to help you do this very, very easily. But before we leave this area, you should see this rock over here with this ink well on the floor you can sit on this rock for the memoir spot location and now we're just going to exit the forest and go back to where that painting easel where all those painting supplies were so right over here where you see lookout point you see the letters over there you see the isol tent over here and you see the entrance to the forest over here this is where we're starting with the first treasure puzzle so from this location we're going to head north to that lamp post that you see in the distance so we're going to head right there now, before we go for the treasure, which is going to be to the right, we're actually going to go left here to collect the final journal that is required. That is going to be right by this rock on the floor. Very, very easy to miss. This little journal over here on this rock, in case you want a bit more idea of where it is, that is where it is. Go ahead and read it for the final one. And then go back and head up the hill again to the lamppost over here. And this is where we're going to be heading north along this pathway. You'll see step two on the book says knives pointing this way. So we follow the knives. Step three says we've got to find a wagon. Here's the wagon. Step four says there are two dead trees right over here. We're going to walk through this. And you'll see there is a fishing post at the bottom over here. And we basically dig right in front of this fishing rod over here. Just like this. Open up the chest and take the papers from the inside. You'll see this will give you do the legendary monkey part two. This time starting at the bridge. So if we go up the hill here from where we started, just go up here. At the two dead trees, we're going to turn left and we're basically progressing this way around the map, right? So we're going to progress to the bridge, which you see right up ahead of me. So we're going to go over the bridge and then we're looking for hanging lanterns. And as we run along this pathway, you will see the hanging lanterns on the trees as we're running by. The third clue is a campfire. So keep proceeding along this road. And eventually you'll see there is a campfire on the left in the in the trees. And then you'll head up to this lantern over here and you will then see a tree in the distance. The big tree right over here. You can't miss it. It's like the only open tree right over there. You can see Hook Island is there. The tree has a heart on it just like this says Carla. And all you have to do is dig in front of it and dig up the chest of the treasure. Open up the chest and take the final directions for the final clues. And in your quest book, go to the next page for Do the Legendary Monkey Part 3. So now it's going to tell us to head southwest to the bay. The bay is where the ships are. So we're going to go along this pathway towards where the ships are. And you'll see the lantern is right over here. We're going to take the zip line. And then we're going to proceed down to the ships area over there because we're looking for the red flags. And in case you didn't notice, red flags are right over there. So we're going to go past the red flags and you'll see the next clue says that we'll pass a bunch of shipwrecks, which on the left, shipwrecks, and we're going to keep heading this direction. 
until eventually you see a monster and a bunch of its remains or remains, which is by the bridge over here, the remains you can see on the floor. We're going to go across the bridge. And then we're going to make our way to the wagon over here. And in the wagon, it says spin and look for the light. And if we look to our right, you'll see there is a distance between those rocks there, a little space. And we're actually going to go through this light, through these rocks, very, very hidden. And we're going to dig right in front here. Dig up the chest, open it up, and you'll see we'll get the trophy of the legendary treasure huntery. And of course, the portal of Karina will appear and you will have to give it to her. So of course, give her the trophy. And now you're going to make your way back to town and you're going to go to the Mojo shop and you're going to speak to Karina inside the shop. Once she's finished speaking, you can go ahead and pick up the Mojo Potion, and we're going to go ahead and take this to the mansion where Guybrush is. So make your way to the mansion. You should know where this is. In the mansion, you're just going to go up the stairs, open up the door, and give it directly to Guybrush. Go on, go on, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, no, almost, oh, almost, almost, there you go. Oh, oh no, there. <laughs> go ahead and give him the potion. Once they're finished talking, you can go ahead and return to your ship. And then all you're going to do is sail through the portal to end the tall tale and get all your commendations for the final ones and get your rewards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.